and welcome back to the channel on this video we got a, it's a special video because look the graffiti x has arrived this is exciting times i know some people have already got their graffiti x i got mine now and right now uh the state that it's in it's in the unassembled as you can see right here all right so this is the bike as i said unassembled we're going to be assembling it but first we got to take all the packaging off the bike and so we'll take the packaging off, lay all the parts out that you have to put on the bike, and we'll show you that. All right, so we're back now on the channel here, and uh, we've got the bike assembled. I mentioned earlier about talking about each part that uh, was on the bike unassembled, but since there's very few, uh, instead of showing you, it was the handlebars, the pedals, and the front wheel, and the front fender. And those are the only parts that you have to put on the bike. And so the fender was the one thing that we did not get on because there's a screw miss. So there's no fender on the bike at the moment on the front. And uh, the other issue we had was with the front wheel. It took a little bit of doing to get the axle through the wheel, but we got it. And so that's the only thing I had a little problem with, but uh, we got that taken care of and uh, we're ready to go. So let's go over a little bit of what the bike has to offer. If you are not familiar with this bike, it's the Lyric Graffiti X. And so let's start with talking about the motor. Okay, so the motor on the bike, uh, on the Graffiti X, is the 750 watt, this is on-road, 750 watt, peaks at 1600 watts, but the off-road mode is 3000 watt, peaking at 7200 watts. Area 13, a fellow uh, YouTuber, has tested this motor and gotten a peak wattage of 8,191. So that definitely surpasses the 7,200 volt or 7,200 watts. So lots of power there. The controller is an ASI BAC 2000, uh, 60 volt, 80 amp. The battery is a 60 volt, 40 amp hour. Uh, with 21700 Samsung 50E cells, and that translates to 2400 uh, watt hours if you prefer that. Um, the torque is 150 Newton meter max. The top speed on the bike is on e-bike on, uh, e mode, which is on-road mode, 20 miles per hour. Off-road mode is 45 plus miles per hour. And with the several people that have already gotten the bike um, have uh, proven that this bike goes 45 plus. I haven't seen anyone yet that's already gotten the bike uh, that hasn't gotten it at least to 45 miles an hour. And we're talking guys that are well in excess of 200 pounds. So, and here I am at 175, so I'm sure the bike is easily gonna exceed uh, 45 miles per hour. Uh, the range of the bike. So the bike with a 175 pound rider, which is exactly what I am, um, will give you in the on-road mode 60 to 70 miles of range in the off-road mode uh, at 35 miles per hour 35 to 40 mile range so pretty good range there um, for the bike the bike weight uh, is 120 pounds with battery and the maximum weight a rider uh, can be for this bike is 250 pounds so pretty good amount uh, if you're a bigger rider it's going to carry you uh, the brakes, let's talk a little bit about these brakes. These are four piston Magura hydraulic brakes with regen braking. Uh, awesome brakes. Uh, I haven't tested the bike yet. We're going to go out shortly and do the ride uh, on this uh, bike, but this is just uh, some of the specs on it. So uh, we're going to be uh, giving these brakes a try. The wheels. Uh, I don't know what their weight is, but I can tell you the front wheel is pretty heavy because that's the one you have to put on. And so I can just imagine with the motor on the back how heavy that back wheel is. Um, solid wheels. I uh, love the tread on these. These are CST uh, dual sport tires. They're 16 by 2.15 rims, uh, inch rims, with 10 gauge spokes, and it uses 16 inch dual sport. And the seat height is 31 inches and it does allow for a second rider, a passenger seat with foot pegs. And here are the pegs right here. And also the bike has um, three to nine uh, levels of assist for pedal assist. 
you can choose whether you want it set at three, five, or nine. Right now, it, by default, it's at nine. I'm gonna leave it at nine. And it's got 12 magnet cadence sensor. The throttle is a full twist throttle. It does come with a 12 volt horn and uh, also the battery charger, which is right here. This is an eight amp charger, 110 volts. It's got a fan on it. And then there's a light um, to show uh, when it's red means that your bike is charging. And when it's green, it means your light is charged. Here's a look at the plug. It comes with a pretty good quality uh, thick cord. And uh, also the suspension. I wanted to talk a little bit about the suspension. So the su suspension, like easier for you to say, is hydraulic front suspension with 160 millimeter travel and adjustable rebound. The dual rear spring suspension with 50 pound spring is rated for 90 millimeters of travel. And they certainly stand out here, uh, that's for sure. So let's go with the uh, uh, turning the bike on. I'm just going to show you quickly. I'm not going to go through all of the settings or anything. And uh, there are links to, uh, you can go check it out at Lyric Cycles uh, website, or I should say on their YouTube channel. They also have an assembly uh, video that's really good. So that's why we're not going to go through the whole assembly thing. I recommend going to their site and checking out their assembly video. I can leave a link in the description. So the key is a must. You have to have the key with you and it has to be um, used here to power up the bike. So some bikes you don't really need this only for the battery, but for this bike you do need to power it on with the key. So once the bike is powered on, it automatically goes to the day running light and the tail light is running. So those are gonna run at all times. And you can also use your lights uh, without the uh, LCD display turned on. So I'm gonna show you right here right now. So here's the turn signals. So you can see the headlight first, I should mention. So the headlight, and there's an option for the high beam and the low beam, just beam with just the switch right here. And then our turn signals are right here. So we got our left turn signal. See it right there. And also in the back, the left turn signal. And let's go to the right turn signal. There's a look at the right on the back. And the front one, the only thing I wish, I will find out as I ride more, but I wish that the back uh, turn signals were further apart, kind of like, uh, I wish they were kind of separated from the uh, integrated light setup, but, but that's okay. It's better to have signal lights than none, and I don't mind that. The front ones are certainly good, I like those. So here's a listen to the horn. A really loud horn, oh my god, that'll... <laughs> That'll scare anybody. So if you're on a bike trail, I suggest maybe not using the horn because you may just cause somebody to have a heart attack with that thing. That's loud. Let's try it one more. <coughs> Ooh, glad I'm not in an apartment. Might get tossed out for that. Let's turn on the bike for a minute and just show you the display. If you're familiar with the Lyric Graffiti uh, version 1 or version 2, it's the same display. Uh, pretty pretty basic. Um, it's not bad. I mean, you got the nice, I got to change my kilometers to miles per hour, but it's got the nice big number for uh, um, read your miles per hour and your uh, pedal assist levels. As we mentioned earlier, you can go all the way up to number nine. I might later change that down to, I might only use three levels, but we'll see. I'll leave it right now at the default setting. I'm trying to leave everything uh, right now the way it is at default. Um, stock. I'm going to add mirrors in the future and a um, phone mount. I'm probably going to go with the quad lock phone mount and I don't know which mirrors I'm going to choose yet. I'm going to uh, do some uh, further investigating. I don't want bar in because the handlebars are wide on this bike as it is and if you put bar in handlebars you're really going to be sticking out a long way. Um, so I'm going to put them on the handlebar here. Uh, I am going to get two mirrors, one to the left, one to the right. Um, that's basically it. That's the uh, Lyric Graffiti. Awesome looking bike. If this thing rides as good as it looks, we're in for a real treat. I got a tire. Uh, the seat. One more thing. I didn't mention the seat. So this seat 
feels really cushioned. There's a lot of soft air. I don't think you're going to have any problem with the seat. Uh, I did notice that this is a little bit narrower than the seat that's on the uh, the original Eric Graffiti. Not that it's a big deal. If I had one thing to nitpick at here, I wish the seat didn't have this bump for the passenger rider. I wish it went down back further because even myself being as five foot nine, I still would like to sit about an inch back, but I don't want to be on that bump partially. So I sit right at the edge of it. And, uh, but I'd like to go back another inch or even two myself, but otherwise, um, it's fine. I'm going to show you me sitting on the bike now. Uh, like I said, I'm five foot nine. And where I like to sit on the bike is right here. Stand off. It's absolutely perfect for me. My feet touch the ground. It's the exact height I want. You can adjust your handlebars uh, a little bit more toward you or a little bit up. I've got mine up a little bit. So I'm sitting, uh, you know, a little more erect than, than I don't want to be down or I don't want to have the handlebars cramping me here. These are perfect right where I have them now. And we'll know more after we get riding um, and test about it. So that's a look at the bike, all aspects of it, except for taking it out for a ride. So we're going to take you guys along for the first ride. So my first ride, you guys are going with us. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so here we are outside on the, I should get off for a second and show you. So here we are with the Graffiti X, there it is. And so we're gonna go for the first ride and you're gonna come along too. So let's hop on and head out on the new Graffiti X. Whoa, Mark, what do you got there? Oh, there's nice. Keith, how you doing cool. Keith? Hey, I like wow, your graffiti. Man. Like this? <laughs> yeah, but this one's extra good. Alright. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, I found this bike abandoned on the side of the road. Uh, he was telling the owner. <laughs> he used to love this bike, but now he's got a new bike or something. Alright. <laughs> so here we go. So the first thing I'm noticing right off the bat is it is heavier, but in a good way. It feels definitely heavier, you can notice it, but wow, is it ever smooth. Stable, all oh, these brakes are good. Are they? Yeah, just touching the regen brakes, I can tell. So here we go, I should be using my turn signal. So I'm in pedal assist level four. I'm on off-road mode right now. And I did not change the display, I should have, but I changed it. I didn't change, I'm still in kilometers, so it might look faster than um, I'm actually going, but I can translate for you. So 50 kilometers an hour is 30 miles per hour, so. So we just went past 30. Let's crank it up. Here we go. I, 66, 66 kilometers. Let's go up to the highest speed level here. Hell, it's just nine. Oh yeah, this this has good pickup. It's not gonna throw you off the bike, but just give it a few seconds and away it goes. I'll tell you, I'm missing the front fender. So there's a screw missing for the front fender. And so I'm getting water coming up in my face, so I do miss the uh, fender for sure. This, 
So I'll tell you, it picks up really fast. Once it gets going, it's smooth and it goes. And I'm missing the front fender. I'm getting my glasses are covered in water. Oh, no. Splashing up at you. So you really do need the fender. Yeah. Especially here after getting the rain. Here we go. Yeah, you definitely, if you live in these parts, uh, you definitely 100% need the fender. Yeah. Uh, let's go over that way. Okay, let's go that way. Then we're already on that side. Yeah. Yeah, you're, wait till you get your shot, Keith. You're, you're going to want to... I'll tell you what, this thing compared to the Grizzly is so smooth. It's, it's like, different, isn't it? Oh, it I love See, that's what made me want to get... If that thing is that good... I knew the Graffiti X is, if it can be anything like that, this is, I can tell already, this is way better than that one. Yeah. And I like that one better than I did the uh, Grizzly, so that tells you something. Well, I was doing 36, so they had this thing going full speed, and you caught up like nothing. Yeah, and so I... Like, I looked back, you were back there a little ways, and I looked back again after about five seconds, and you were already there you go. I'm afraid to open it up because there's not enough space. Lots of crap in the bike lane. You know, this, this bike is amazing. I didn't even expect it to be like this. This good. I'm impressed. I think Lyric Cycles has found their flag. I think they found their flagship bike, this one right here. Wow, this is this is awesome. This is my first time taking it out, so and beat the light. And as far as going over those railway tracks, no problem at all. Smooth. Got put on the turn signals. Oh yeah. I think I saw 76 kilometers. That's about 48 miles per hour. 80 kilometers is 50, so about 48. So there, it got to 76 kilometers I got it up to. So and then uh, about 48 miles an hour. So yeah, it's probably pretty close to 50, uh, you could probably say. You so it maxed out? Uh, I don't know, because I didn't let it go anymore. It might have went a little more. It might have had, it might have had 80 in it. But I was coming close to the stop, and so I thought I'll just 
So how does it feel? Does it feel nice and stable? Very stable. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Yeah. The thing about these bikes there. I mean it's heavier, but it's uh, you'll get it's in a good way, right? You yeah. got you're more solid underneath you. And so when you go that fast, you don't feel like you're light and the bike's gonna bounce around or anything. Very stable. I think that's smarter than to put that battery down low like that. This this bike is impressive. I uh, I'll tell you, it's better than I thought it was going to be, even if that's possible. You know, uh, I was expecting something a little beefier, you know, a little, a little more powerful than that one. You know, 40 miles an hour to 45 is plenty, right? Yeah. And um, with the you know the full suspension. And I forgot a very loud horn. Hear, hear that one tick? This one doesn't do that. You don't hear nothing. Um, nothing at all. Huh? Listen. Yeah, I had a light tick through it. Yeah, but hardly. Like, compared to that one, you don't even really notice it. It's like a lower sounding. This is more of a higher pitch sound. That's a lower yeah. pitch. Yeah. So the, the takeoff, I'm going to do one here, a little quick takeoff here. There's nobody coming. And we'll see, you'll see... This, uh, by the way, is an accurate, um, the display here, this speedometer is accurate within less than one mile per hour. I'm in kilometers, I need to switch it over, but I'm not gonna take the time right now. But uh, I just wanna see the takeoff. This is in uh, off-road mode and on the highest uh, assist level nine. Yeah, see, so it's a little bit subtle and just takes about five seconds and then by, you're rocketing. I'll tell you, it almost takes your breath away when it gets going like a rocket. Very impressive. Let's hit it back on the way back here. Okay. Right up. So right there was over 40 miles an hour, just like that. Yeah, it gets up to over 40 miles per hour, just like that. Something else is pretty nice is the turning is good. Yeah. I've heard, I heard a few people talk about this bike is a little bit, yeah, not so great for the turning, you know, and I don't, I don't see it. And also the handlebars. I've heard a lot of complaints about leaning forward. Maybe because I'm shorter, I'm five foot nine. But you know what? I've got the uh, handlebars at the height I want them here. I, you can move them forward or back, and I've got them about where I like them the best. You know, perfect. Um, yeah, it takes about five seconds to get going. Okay. And once you get going, boy, it just flies. Which I kind of like that. You know, when you're on the street. You yeah. Let me uh, turn that off so that we power. don't go forward accidentally. You want to sit next to this bike and... Well, we'll do, in the future, we'll do a full uh, route comparison of this bike and that one, but there's a quick look at, this might be a good spot to take a picture, a photo too, it's perfect. Yeah. So there's a look at the Graffiti X. I'll tell you, not only does it ride nice, but boy, does it ever look sharp. And I don't think it matters which color you get, they all look impressive. I agree. Look at that in the sunshine. I am missing the front fender, uh, like we were mentioning, and I do uh, miss that because I was getting water in the face. And there's a look at the the Lyric Graffiti, another nice bike. How did you like uh, riding the Lyric uh, over here, oh, the Graffiti? I, that's an excellent bike too. I mean, that's different, right, than the it's Grizzly? It's so smooth and so comfortable, even at higher speed, you know. Yeah, it's it's different than the Grizzly for sure. It feels more stable. So, yeah, Look at how dirty it gets already, especially with that not having that fender in there. That's working for you. So that's what uh, drew me to this bike, the Graffiti X, when they said that they were coming out with... I was actually looking at the Onyx City 2. I was thinking, you know, because uh, I was looking around for another bike. 
And then uh, I got word from Andrew at uh, Lyric Cycles that they were working on a new bike. And there it is. And I'm glad I waited. And he said, you might, you know, we got something coming that's very similar, you know, in all the specs and stuff to the city. I bet you this one's even better and more impressive than the city, too. This might be closer to the Onyx. Yeah. Pretty close. I don't know. If, if this had the 72 volt and wasn't 60 up to the 72, this would beat the Onyx no problem, I think. But, yeah, it's impressive. Uh, I thought the seat, because the seat's a little bit narrower than the other one, not much, but a little bit. I thought I might not like that so good, but I actually like it. Okay. Um, I do wish, though, that you could go back just a little. I wish this this one didn't have the bump there, you know, and you could actually sit back a little more. I would sit back about another inch right. or so, but I don't want to sit on the bump. I don't want to be halfway on that and off, so I sit back as far as I can to it. Um, I think the, uh, the shocks seem to work for me fine uh, because I went over railway tracks and a couple of the sewer um, um, lids there, and uh, I didn't have no problem. It just glided right over those. So uh, uh, the braking. Oh, the brake's good too. It, it takes a little getting used to because all you have to do, if you want to use the regen braking on this, okay. which I want to do, I want to save the bar battery uh, or the uh, brake pads, is just touch it ever so slightly. You can feel it. Does it kick in like after a second? So you start start pulling it slightly. And yeah, you can you feel it. Yeah, and then it slows down, but it's it doesn't grab like your scooter does. It's a little bit lighter. Okay. Yeah, like on the uh, E-Move uh, scoo scooter that Keith has, when I rode that. That's and really you put strong. the brake on it, it seemed to grab you. It this does. doesn't grab you like that. And then you get used to this, right? How much distance you need to leave. So it, it gradually slows down. This slows down, I'd say this slows down quicker than the original graffiti with the regen. Th that one's more gradual. This one seems to take a few seconds, but then you feel it come down. Okay. So pretty impressive though. I must say this, this is... Uh, Maybe I'm a little excited, but uh, it's awesome. And uh, it's it's exceeded my expectations, for sure. Well, they did it I right. mean, I, yeah, I mean, I thought it was going to be a good bike, really good bike. I liked everything about it, but boy, after after getting on there and going for the first ride, solid. Um, they, they did an awesome build. And, like, we, Keith and I were working on getting this together today, and we were talking about the parts, you know, and what quality they used, you know. There's other bikes that might go as fast as this, but are they built like this? This thing is awesome. All right, well, we're gonna do another ride here in just a minute, so let me, and we'll hop back on our bikes. All right, so I'm just, messing around here in a parking lot. This bike is gonna be hard to get off when you're done riding for the day. It's one of those, one of those bikes that you just can't resist. Oh, has it ever turned? You can turn really sharp, lean into it. It does. Yep. This bike, I can tell you right now, is the best bike I've ever ridden. Awesome. I'll definitely need to look for mirrors for the bike because you really need those. And I'm gonna get two mirrors. I'm gonna jet out here onto the road because I don't want to run over those leaves. Sometimes a lot of leaves like that can cause issues with being uh, slippery. Boy, I, I just can't say enough about this bike. It's amazing. It's exceeded my expectations. I did not expect it to be this good. I knew it was going to be pretty good. 
because having experience riding the uh, the other graffiti the original graffiti when, when, once I got my hands on that bike and got riding it I knew that if it was anything like that bike, I'm gonna like it. This is where I'm getting the water coming up, not having that front fender, it's in this bike lane. You definitely need your fenders if you live in this area. Mike definitely has the get up and go. Anybody out there that's a speed demon and wants a fast bike, I think this is it. Unless you're wanting to go 90 miles an hour. But for commuting in a city, this ought to be great for you. I was getting water in my face riding in the bike lane. There's a lot of debris in the bike lane here. Look at all the debris in here. Leaves. Sticks. It's a lot. I trust these tires more than those. You get to the end of the road, you the bridge, right? Yeah. It's not good. Okay, now you're good, I think. Yeah, that's terrible in the bike lane. You can't even ride in there. There's so much debris. Now I want to point out that I still have the speedometer on kilometers. So if you see that, it's in kilometers. This thing flies. Let me get this light. I gotta get off. Yeah, just be careful on it. You know what? I could keep up with the cars over here, but I just didn't. I stayed over to the side. But yeah, you can definitely. They're not expecting you to go that fast. I know. 
You gotta be real careful. That's great. <laughs> yeah, once you got going across the bridge, he just left me back there. But how does this one feel, the graffiti there? Oh, it feels good, but it's it wants to be faster. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing, right? Once you get on one, now you know what this one can do. Yeah, it's not going to take off on you. Like, it's not going to spin the wheel here. Look. Yeah. You can hold it back kind of, but once it gets going, give it five seconds and it's gone. Well, back there, what are we doing? About 25? Uh, so when you're going across a bridge, and when you start taking off, it just left me in the dust. Like, it wasn't even close. Yeah, like, so I had to point out that I'm in kilometers. I'll change it to, uh, I'll change the settings. I wanted to get out of here and do a quick ride. I don't want to mess with it right now. It's one of these things, though, that you get on this, you don't want to get off. No. You want to be out here. It's, it's not bad out here today, actually. I do uh, miss the fender, though. Yeah. There we go. Leaves are everywhere. We're now into the month of November. So. Why you like this bike so much? It's nice. Yeah, that's what I knew if I liked that one and they build a better one like this, I'm gonna want this. <laughs> All right, which way are we going? Straight. Straight. Yeah, I, I was thinking if they build anything that's a little more, gives a little more oomph. Of course, we'll do more testing on this bike in videos to come, but right now it's fun just getting used to it. When you say that, this is bad. It's funny about power. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad. But this thing has just a little more of everything. No. No, there's a few things that I... Uh, here, 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 here. Hey, you can use regen. I could have went like that, I guess. <laughs> forgot I had the, forgot I had the horn. All right, well let's. I want to pull over here and talk about what my thoughts are on this bike, my uh, first impressions. You want to go down a little bit, Mark? All right, so let me hop off. Let me actually turn it off for a minute. So my my impressions are, I like the bike a ton. Like I said multiple times, it's exceeded my expectations. I knew it was going to be a good bike, but it's it's great, awesome. So there it is. They're all dirty now. Uh, out in the we just can't resist though. We've had so much rain here, but I. You just can't resist. You got to get out here. And it's the first nice day with him. First really. nice day, and I was glad to take everybody along with me for my first ride. I did that with that uh, Lyric Graffiti over there, the original. 
but this bike you know it's hard to find anything that I don't like um, I am having an issue with the one turn signal on the front uh, is not working it'll work for a minute uh, sometimes and then stop and if you go to turn it on after I, we turned it on again and then all of a sudden all the lights went out yeah. so it's only the front turn signal front so right I'm turn signal. the front right yes so all I did was uh, plugged it out so then the rear uh, turn signal still works for the right but the, uh, the rest of the bike is fine the other thing I uh, had wrong this is the negatives okay. uh, the front fender there was no screw uh, for the fender in the box anywhere and so the fender's off right now and I really miss it uh, but I want to get out here ASAP to ride so there's a missing screw there and then the other thing I'm noticing here and I don't know if anything can be changed on this if we can do anything but there's the rear fender and if you look at that it's off center with the wheel you can see it off to the left um, I mean it doesn't uh, cause any issues with the riding but it just looks you know it looks like You've had a few too many drinks or something. <laughs> What's we're gonna and you're like, unscrew it. it. Looks like two screws right yeah, there. Yeah, I think I think we might be able to uh, fix it. I can see where it's. That looks minor. You know, a little bit uh, where it's more over here than here, but uh, it's all good. Other than that, I can't think of anything that I don't like. It really accelerates. I do understand what some people are saying. It's not going to throw you off the bike, but what it does is it's a subtle, smooth takeoff. And then I would say about five seconds into your ride, if you're uh, on the highest level that I was riding at there, nine, on the off-road mode, you can really feel it kick in. It almost feels like when you're in a car and you're passing somebody and you really give it the gas for overdrive, yeah. you have an overdrive. Uh, it feels like that, like it really rockets you along there. Uh, the highest speed I saw it at was high 70s. I'm not sure, I think it was, 76 or 78 Keith wrote it also and on his first ride impressions he got it to 78 kilometers so that's 49 miles per hour I need to change the settings to miles per hour so we can see for sure but pretty close to 50 miles an hour and Keith is about 190 and I'm 175 so I probably will be able to and I didn't have it full full steam so I think I'd be able to get it to uh probably to 50 miles an hour which is perfectly fine I'm fine with it going 45 because that's what they claim the bike uh, can do and I can vouch that it will do beyond 45 yeah. as far as anything else I don't know what to say it's a comfortable seat you know I don't have any issues at all with their seat the one thing that a lot of folks have pointed out that have gotten the bike already they don't like the handlebars they're not uh, great to them they they feel like they're leaning too far forward Maybe because I didn't ride it a lot yet. I haven't had that issue. I don't mind them. You can adjust the tilt of them. You know, when you uh, uh, put them on originally, the bike, you can uh, play with that and adjust them to your liking. And I like the way I have them right now. They're set up pretty well. Um, what else can we say? It's awesome. It's got a bit of weight to it. Uh, it's 40 pounds heavier than the original graffiti, but it's in a good way. Yeah, it's 40 pounds heavier, wow. They've got the, uh, the weight is, is uh, you know, in the center of the bike, like the big amount of the weight's going to be in the battery, of course, and the, and the motor and the two wheels, you right? You don't feel it. The tires. But no, um, but um, it's in a good way. It makes you feel, you feel more grounded and stable. So when you have your, when you're riding along, you don't feel, it does not feel herky-jerky at all. No. Smooth takes the turns like uh amazingly um you it's can like lean into bicycle. yeah you can lean into a turn and then left and you'll have no issues i definitely give this bike a two thumbs up and i guarantee you anybody that tries this bike nobody is going to be disappointed unless you're wanting a a, a flat out 80 mile per hour motorcycle if you're looking for something that's mid-range speed you know like for a bike 45 miles an hour and I think this one's the one. Uh, we've got it completely covered uh, in water, the headlight, from not having that fender. You can see that there. Yeah. All right, got, well. You got some on your face, too. <laughs> I know, like, it's on my glasses and everything. Yeah. Um, anyway, that was a uh, interesting ride. <laughs> it wasn't even on the off-road trails yet. Um, so we'll definitely have to have a fender on before we do anything like that. All right, well. 
it's an impressive bike I must say as I said earlier it succeeded my expectations I didn't expect it to be that good so uh, definitely thumbs up to Lyric Cycles you got a great bike there and um, yeah what else can you say any uh, parting words Keith how about if they want to give me a good discount if I like, <laughs> Keith wants a bike <laughs> he wants the blue one. He's already mentioned he wants the blue one with the tan or with the black seat if he could have it. I'll take the ones that are, you know that are kind of slightly damaged or something. You know, just seconds. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Sloppy seconds. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this video. First ride impressions. Unboxing. There it is. The Lyric Graffiti X. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and watch many more videos to come on this bike, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And if you want to comment on this video or any other videos, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. Thank you, Keith. And until next time. Keep your wheels on the road. See you later.